Welcome to 6 Minute Math. Sa video na to, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-evaluate ng functions. In evaluating function, it is important that you know what is a function notation. Function notation, ito yung way natin kung paano tayo nagsusulat ng function. f of x is equal to y, where f is the name of the function, x is the placeholder, and y is the output. Yung name ng function natin, pwede siyang mapalitan ng kahit anong variable, same with x. So, in this example, what is f of 2 if f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 2? Again, x is the placeholder. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng value ng x natin, mapapalitan siya depende sa given or kung ano yung hinahanap. Since ang hinahanap is f of 2, lahat ng value ng x, papalitan natin ng value na 2. Our function now will become f of 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 2. Walang masyadong espesyal na gagawin ka evaluating function. Ang importante dito, alam mo yung PEMDAS. PEMDAS, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M and D stands for multiplication and division, A and S stands for addition and subtraction. For multiplication and division, hindi natin inuuna si multiplication lagi bago mag-division. Multiplication kapag nauna siya from left to right, and then division kapag nauna siya from left to right. Ganon din yung gagawin kay addition and subtraction. So going back to our function, simplifying 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 2, unahin muna natin yung exponent. So function of 2 now will become 4 minus 5 times 2 plus 2. Saan ang galing si 4? Si 4 nang galing siya kay 2 squared. Next, we proceed to multiplication 5 times 2. Our function now will become f of 2 is equal to 4 minus 10. Saan ang galing si 10? Si 10 nang galing siya sa product ni 5 and 2. And then ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina, if we have addition or subtraction in one equation or in our function, ang gagawin lang natin is to answer it from left to right. So, 4 minus 10 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. In example number 2, if g of x is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 2x minus 3, find g of 2 and g of negative 2. So, sa example na to, maghahanap tayo ng dalawang value. First is g of 2, and then second is g of negative 2. Sagutan so, muna natin si g of 2. If x is equal to 2, then our function now will become g of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared minus 2. Again, PEMDAS, unahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. But since nakasimplify na yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin, we proceed to exponent. Exponent, ang meron lang dyan is si 2 cubed and then si 2 squared. 2 cubed, when we solve it, that is 2 times 2 times 2. And then 2 squared naman, that is 2 times 2. Our function now will become g of 2 is equal to 8. Sa so, nanggaling si 8 sa 2 cubed. And then minus 5 times 4. Si 4 saan nanggaling? Nanggaling siya kay 2 squared. And then, copy lang si minus 2. Next is to proceed to multiplication. 5 times 4 is 20. Our function now will become 8 minus 20 minus 2. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko ulit kanina. Since subtraction na lang yung naiiwan sa ating equation, we solve it from left to right. So, 8 minus 20 is negative 12. And negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. Therefore, the function g of 2 is equal to negative 14. Next, solving for g of negative 2, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. Substitute lang natin si negative 2 sa ating function. Ang function now ay magiging g of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 5 times negative 2 squared minus 2. Again, exponent tayo, negative 2 cubed is equal to 
negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Kaya ang equation na natin ay naging negative 8 minus 5 times 4 minus 2. Next naman is to proceed with multiplication. So 5 times 4, that is still 20. And then our function now will become g of 2 is equal to negative 8 minus 20 minus 2. And then left to right tayo ulit, negative 8 minus 20, that is negative 28. And then negative 28 minus 2 is negative 30.